Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sutina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video we're doing my April haul. So if you want to see everything that I picked up in April, then let's jump on into it. So in April I was doing really really well and I kind of was decided that it was going to have like a no buy month and then I purchased a couple of little bits because my skin was having a bit of a issue. My eyes were playing up again being like super duper dry and sore and irritated so I went out and purchased something in the attempt to help that. The product really did help that but I also purchased another skincare product with that and then halfway through the month uh, Pat McGrath decided to have a sale and I decided to finally pull the trigger and purchase some stuff from Pat McGrath so it all went downhill from there. <laughs> it all went downhill from there. Starting off with the skincare bits, so I picked up another bottle of the Andalou Naturals Canacel Beauty Oil. You guys know this is one of my most favorite facial oils so I picked this one up just to replenish my stash and I was on sale at the time so I decided to pick up another bottle and just have it you know sitting in my stash. I use this pretty much every single night. If I'm not using this, I'm just using like straight rose hip seed oil. But most nights I reach for this because I just find it's really good for my skin and my skin responds really well to it. I think this is like my fifth bottle of this, something like that. I've gone through a lot of bottles of that. And then the skincare item that I picked up for my eyes, I have to thank um, Kat from Kitchenich or Cat from Beauty News for this recommendation. She mentioned this product in her, I think her yearly favorites for 2020. And I've been having some eye issues of late. Um, I went and saw the doctor and the doctor said it was like eczema, um, just like a viral eczema or contact dermatitis. I forget what she said, but basically she said, you know, if the product that you've purchased is working, then continue to use that. And it was working, but she also gave me steroid cream. I don't really want to completely heavily rely on that because um, your skin can get sensitive to that. And because it is around my eyes, I don't really want to be using steroids a lot around my eyes. So I picked up this product to try and help it. And oh my gosh, this has saved my life. So this is the La Roche-Posay Sica Plast Balm B5. Comes in a small little tube like this. It is expensive. I think I paid like $30 or something for this tube, but lifesaver, absolute lifesaver. And I found myself, I use this for a couple of weeks straight and I used it day and night, but over night time, I would really kind of layer it on quite thick to the point where I would have like basically white eyelids because I didn't, um, white eyelids because I didn't like completely rub this in. I would just kind of leave it sitting on my eyes and let it just absorb through the, throughout the night. So that's the best way I found. And that's the way I found that this was the most effective was really kind of caking it on my eyelids, leaving it overnight, um, like rubbing it in a little bit, but then just leaving kind of a thick layer just sitting on my eyes. And by the time I woke up in the morning, it was fully absorbed and the skin around my eyes was doing so much better. So this is a fantastic product. If you do have that trouble, any kind of dryness or dermatitis on your face, eczema, anything like that, I would really recommend using this. And I would use like, like I use a thick layer. So I leave a thick layer just sitting on top of the skin and let it slowly absorb in. So if you use that like overnight, that's the way I found to use this. And it did wonders. Absolutely amazing, saved my life. And I, like, I was getting really worried there that I was gonna have to stop like using eyeshadow or makeup. I still am not quite sure exactly what brought it on. I was playing with a few different things to figure out what it was and I just couldn't figure out what it was. So I'm not quite sure. I haven't really figured out still what it was or what ingredient was, anything like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It just randomly happened and I'm not quite sure what does it? Still haven't figured it out, unfortunately. Okay, then I picked up two bits from Pat McGrath in the sale because I have been talking nonstop about these palettes for a very long time. One palette of which I promised myself like last year when it launched that if it came back in a certain way, 
I'm giving it away. Um, if it came back in a certain way that I would purchase it and it did come back in a certain way and it also came back on sale. So I decided to finally bite the bullet and pick up one of the large Pat McGrath palettes. And I, I must admit, so far I am really enjoying it. And then I also, while I was there, picked up another palette that I've been talking nonstop about and like mentioning that I might pick it up eventually when it's on sale and it was on sale at the same time. So I picked up both of them. Here the beautiful, gorgeous things are. So I picked up the Divine Rose 2 palette and I also picked up the Blitz Astral Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana. This one is from, I think, Christmas, not last year, but the year before and it's been like in stock for ages. Um, like I've never experienced Pat McGrath packaging, but it does excel. This is a quad. This is what she looks like. Um, I have like swatched these so far. The purple, I don't love the texture of the purple. It is quite dry and quite firm, but the other three are beautiful, like really soft and smooth and buttery, like the, the normal Pat McGrath formula and the packaging is, I didn't realize as well that like the back of the packaging is actually engraved, which is really, really cool. And then this one. This one I have been talking about for a very long time and I promised myself back when this palette launched in the limited edition packaging that if it came back in the limited edition packaging, I would pick it up. And sure enough, it came back in the limited edition packaging and it was also on sale. So I have the metallic pink packaging and I also got it for, I think it was like 150 Australian dollars, which is hella expensive for 10 eyeshadows. I totally get that. This one I got for 73. I think this was 90 full price. So, you know, they're very expensive, but I finally picked up one to try. And so far I have actually been quite enjoying this. I am wearing this on my eyes today. I'm wearing both of the mattes paired with this one here on my lid and that's what you can see here i actually wore the vr what was it sex terrestrial um shopping the other day and i really liked it every time i like walked past the mirror i was like oh hello so yeah i have been enjoying this one i was gonna say i really like i really like the pat mcgrath shimmer i think it's a nice formula but the the mattes like the mattes i can take or leave i even found this with the um the christmas palette that i picked up the Div uh, celestial divinity palette is that what it's called yes the celestial divinity palette i found with that one as well that i could leave the mattes so if pat mcgrath ever comes out again with palettes that are like all shimmers I would probably lean more towards picking up a palette with all shimmers in it rather than another one of these because the shimmers is where it's at, I think. My palette is my palette is already squeaking, which don't love that. I have mattes in my collection that I prefer over the Pat McGrath mattes. That was my haul for April, only for little bits, but I did spend a lot of money because thanks to Pat McGrath, but I am enjoying what I have. I am enjoying using both of these palettes so far. Um, I, you know, I'm not sad that I picked them up, but I probably wouldn't miss them if I didn't have them. So take of that what you will. Let me know down in the comments box what you picked up in April. Um, I would love to know down there whether you picked up any bits in the Pat McGrath sale. While you're down there, make sure you like this video. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can join my membership and upload this video if you like. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.